Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Kling 2.0 is here. Kling AI just dropped version 2 of their AI video model, packed with major upgrades and claiming the top spot in the AI rankings. But is it really that good? In this video, you will find a detailed review of Kling version 2. You will test it in action against other state-of-the-art models like Runway Gen 4 and Google's VO2 and find out if it's really worth your time and money. So the first challenge, woman looks down at her hands as the camera follows her gaze, then a parrot gently lands on her hands. So this prompt challenge includes a consecutive complex motion. We have subject motion and camera motion. I really like how Kling version 2 closely followed my prompt and gave me exactly what I asked for. So there are a few nuances in the other results that we need to consider. For example, in Runway's output, when woman looks down, parrot is already there. You will realize that second part of my prompt specifically asks what parrot lands in her hands after woman looks down. So Google's VO2 followed my prompt carefully, but it feels like everything happened altogether versus when you look at Kling's output, you will clearly see the consecutive action being followed step by step. So the next challenge is about rendering environmental effects. Flooding is a big challenge for AI video models. In the Kling's output, you will see very clearly what I asked for was delivered perfectly. So flood hits the city, it fills up the streets and cars being pushed away. So runway didn't quite get what we asked for and just gave me a massive ocean wave, just closing the camera fully. And view 2 gave me the floating, but it looks very static and it doesn't fully cover what I asked in my original prompt. So in the next example, we are challenging models both from dynamism perspective and prompt understanding perspective. I really like how dynamic Kling's output looks like. So if you look closely, you may realize that the coherence of our character's face diminishes a little bit, but it's in acceptable ranges. The galloping, the high speed action, and the dynamism is here. So the camera circling around her is not fully rendered here. Runway output, on the other hand, looks again very much slow motion, and it's not really high speed as we ask. I think shot itself is fine. I think Google's view 2 output is not even usable. In the next example, we have again a dynamism and prompt understanding challenge. So we have an old library with levitating objects, and additionally, we have a camera motion here. We want camera to tilt downwards, so Kling gave me floating objects, furniture, and books in the old library in a great way. I also got the camera tilt down as I wanted. Runway managed to give me floating objects. It doesn't look as natural as Kling output, but we got what we asked for. Instead of camera tilting downwards, we got camera moving vertically down. So it's not what I asked for. Now, View 2 didn't give me camera tilt down, but besides books, I don't have anything else dynamically in the air versus if you look at the Kling output, you will see that both furniture and books are levitating, which feels like the model was able to render the initial image much better than the other two models. And the final challenge for our models is a fight scene of two samurais with katanas. So for a long time now, all AI video models are struggling with this challenge. Kling version 2 is still same. There's definitely some improvement with the movements of samurais that I can observe but still it doesn't look like a natural fight. The sword's coherence get lost, especially when they touch each other, as you can see that. Model struggles a lot to render it properly and similar problems are observed with Runway Gen 4 as well. Even the coherence of Katana's disappear in between. I like that Runway's output was very dynamic. They really look like they engaged in an active fight, which looks natural and V2 output looks more like a slight disagreement than a Katana fight. Now let's also quickly compare Kling version 2 to previous version, which is 1.6. So in this challenge, what I like the most in the new version is a slight little push that man is giving to the eagle when he wants eagle to fly away versus the initial shot of Kling 1.6 looks a little bit more static. After the slight push, how eagle finds its balance and wings are dynamically moving versus 1.6 looks a bit static. So in this example, I have a wolf and I also want camera to follow the wolf while running in fast speed. So I think this is one of the good examples that how well Clean version 2 improved in comparison to previous version. Clean 1.6 output, it almost looks like the wolf is crippled versus version 2 output pretty much just flows nicely. 
So motion looks very dynamic and natural. So in the next example, I'm trying to understand improvement in terms of human emotion rendering and prompt is very simple. So one thing I like about version two output is her lips are not moving. Finally, in clean 1.6 output every single time when I add in motion, lips were almost moving, which was a little bit annoying. It's good to see that it has improved and less challenge is a gunfight in a gas station. So here we have a complex motion and again, the version two output looks very dynamic, but dynamism then becomes a little bit chaotic. Coherence drops, we have new people appearing emerging and some of the existing ones disappear and version 1.6 output looks a bit more static however coherence is much better now let's take a look at the changes new version brings we have something called multi-elements this new feature I introduced the other day and it's separate from version 2. in fact it doesn't work with version 2 yet but most likely it will be coming very soon they call this multimodal visual prompting. It simply means using text and multimodal descriptors, meaning that you can reference images and videos inside of your text prompts. So initially, when I saw this, I thought this is similar to Runway's world consistency feature, which is not launched yet. So, but after playing with that, I realized it doesn't have that sort of flexibility. It's more similar to Pika's recent feature, which is Pika Swap. So we have Swap, Add and Delete features. Simply, you can upload a video and this video doesn't have to be generated on Kling. And you can delete objects and elements from these videos dynamically. So I think this is really cool. I had this original video where I had a parrot on the shoulders of the robot. After that, I uploaded that to Kling and I dynamically selected a prompt. The cool thing here, when you upload a video and select an element, Kling provides you a prompt template. You don't need to remember all of these prompting structures. So after writing the prompt and specifying that I want Parrot to be deleted from the original video, I got this footage. So in the same way I use add feature, I uploaded this video here. This is simply a lava entering from the cracks of an old opera house. And then I uploaded this image of a subject Then I wrote using the context of reference video. Seamlessly add running woman from image. So we are simply saying to add this woman to this scene. And this is the end result. Looks like I actually wanted to show you swap feature as well. So I uploaded an original video of a character aiming with a rifle. And I edit an image of a woman. I simply ask model to swap man in the video. And replace the subject with a woman. So every time I wanted to use it, unfortunately I got error from the platform. Therefore I can't show you this at the moment. One thing to note here, original elements feature where we were using for character location and object references are not available with version 2. So most likely it will be coming in the coming days. So there are downsides that we need to talk about. Uh, most of my videos took so long. Uh, some of them took 39 minutes to generate, but it's only 5 seconds video. And since the model is fresh, I think their servers are cooked at the moment and everyone is generating stuff and therefore it takes really long time another issue is definitely the cost so it's very expensive generating only five seconds video costs 100 credits at the moment so this is the most disappointing part for me i was expecting they would keep the price at least the same and they would not increase it but unfortunately they increased the cost and no unlimited plan announced so in the press conference, they hinted a cheaper version of new model, which seems absolutely necessary considering five seconds video costs 100 credits at the moment. So I will be really looking forward for that new version. So what do you think? Please comment your thoughts below. Thank you for watching. Introducing Livecaster 24-7, the ultimate video traffic boost. Multiply your organic reach and audience with live, dynamic video programming. Live stream from most any social media platform and multiple your reach up to 10 times with Livecaster 24-7. Supercharge your marketing reach with Livecaster 24-7's powerful features. We got a three times boost in reach from live streaming. Social Baker reports 92% extra reach for live videos and reach test just 48 hours after publishing. Live videos have the most reach among all the video formats on social. Live stream pre-recorded videos and show your best content to the world. Go live on any platform, Livecaster 24-7 makes it easy. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, X, Amazon, LinkedIn, Kick, Twitch, Stream, Rumble, and the rest of them. Content creators, get a reach boost and get more viewers for your existing content. E-commerce marketers, sell anything better with live videos. Grab the top spots on news feeds and search results effortlessly.
Leave your competition in the dust with a live streaming reach boost. Livecast multiple videos simultaneously on multiple platforms. Schedule your livecasts. Go live even when you're sleeping. Create live stream channels. Live stream long videos without limitations. Live stream multiple videos in a queue using our streams feature. Live loop technology loops your livecast for an unending live stream. Supports HT and high quality livecasts. Supports all popular video formats. Download YouTube videos for streaming, detailed reporting and fail-safe mechanisms, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Livecaster 24-7 now. Just go to livecaster.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.